the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Yeah, we have a little back. Have you checked your fruit today? This is the next segment, right? We're going to go ahead and check those fruits out. Remember, just in case you forgot, and, and that's okay. We want to be able to remind each other what are the fruits of the Spirit, right? And we said right here in Galatians 5, 22, but the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Again, such there is no law. So when I say, have you checked your fruit today? Or have you checked your fruit from yesterday? Depending on what time you watch this video. <laughs> have you shown love? Have you shown joy? Have you shown peace? Huh? Have you shown long suffering, gentleness, goodness? And we remember it's like the long suffering is patient. Have you shown patience toward one another? Have you shown gentleness toward one another, goodness toward one another? Faith, which means faithless. Have you been faithful? Have you shown up where you're supposed to show up, right? Meekness, tempers. Are you under control? Are you a you person that has self control or are you somebody that don't have any control? Against us, there's no law. So, have you checked your fruit today? Have you checked love? Have you checked huh? joy? Huh? Have you checked it today? How was it yesterday? Did you bear fruit? Let's try to condition our mind daily on checking our fruit. Why not? Let's remind ourselves. Let's go ahead and try to do the things that push us to conform to the image of God. So today, let's say, have you checked your love today? Have you checked your love today? Have you shown any love towards somebody? But that's, that's the key, right? If we're going to check our fruit, let's check out some of the characteristics of the fruit. So, what I put up here is we just read the Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Look at John 13 and 34. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall look all men know that you are my disciples if you have love one to another John 15 12 and 13 this is my commandment that you love one another as as I have loved you God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Look at this greater love that's no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Have you checked your fruit today? Have you shown and demonstrated that you desire to, to, to show love to your fellow man? Or at least to your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. But technically, love to all mankind. Because you want to portray what God is to all of us. That's why he gave his life for the world. So we don't supposed to be selfish and try to say, well, it's just, it's, it's just us. It's just our church service or our church affiliation. No. Or, or our home. No. Have you shown love to your fellow man? Have you shown them the love of God? That agape, that we call it agape love. And if you don't know what love is, he just demonstrated it on the scriptures in John 3:16. He gave his life for us. And the good thing about it is he rose again to ensure that we were really established with God. And all we have need to believe. But if we want to be Christians, we need to show love. I ain't telling you to be a sucker towards somebody. I'm just telling you, learn to be someone who at least love your fellow man that when and if there's an opportunity you can bless your fellow man either with a smile or a hand or a giving 
But show love to it, you fellow man. Don't show hate, that's boring. And that's what the world tried to get us to do. Learn to try to get us to hate, that's carnality. But spiritual is a love, unconditional. Ain't so you gotta like everybody. You should love everybody. Then when you forgive everybody, not that you don't have to forget, just the fact is, I love you enough that I'm not gonna focus on the things that you cause pain on. I'm gonna focus on the love of God and that he loves you and love me. But learn to love one another. He said that's how we tell, right? All right, so have you checked your fruit today? Have you checked love today? I think it's a good thing to do. Work on it, all right? Didn't say it was easy. But I think that's the whole point. Maybe that's why I don't talk about it as much and reinforcing in, in churches because we want to focus on the do's, the checkbox. But sometimes if you do things outside of love, it's dead works. Think about it. All right, I hope you enjoy the, uh, this reminder. Have you checked your fruit today? I certainly love. All right, I'll remind you tomorrow about another fruit. All right, I'm characteristic of a fruit. God bless. I'll take you later. Bye bye.